Hello, welcome to Pro Mixing and Mastering. And due to popular demand, uh, my subscribers asked if I would do a video on mastering using Cubase plugins, using uh, FabFuda plugins, and using um, Isotope plugins. And I uh, said, yeah, I'm going to do uh, a mastering tutorial using all these uh, plugins so right now in this video i'm going to show you how to uh, master using isotope ozone uh, 7 i've done a video on how to do how to master using cubase plugins just check it out i've done a video on how to do mastering using uh, waves plugins and i i have also done a video on how to do uh, how to master your song using fab Fura, uh plugins now this one is going to be for isotope so uh this is how the song sounds like uh, before i get into mastering <laughs> So basically this is how the song sounds like uh without any mastering plugins on it first i love to come here and on my input gain i use shift to just hold shift and then i drop it all the way to negative 6.1 why i want to create headroom for mastering as you can see my uh gain meter is ending somewhere here so it means that i've got room up to here i've got all this room for mastering up to somewhere here so it's really good and it's not even clipping this side what's clipping is my microphone since i'm talking uh using my microphone through my microphone so the first thing that i'm gonna do is go to mastering and then uh go to mastering and then get isotope ozone 7. wait for it to open then i'm just gonna take out all these and leave out equalizer because i'm gonna use this equalizer to remove this noise from 10 to 25 somewhere there you don't want to keep that if uh what happens when you keep that is that uh your master is gonna sound muddy it's not gonna sound clean so up uh, uh later on i'm gonna do like this i'm gonna just try to like um do this just come on high pass and then i'm gonna do a high pass up to somewhere here maybe yeah some somewhere here maybe somewhere here just to remove that i wanted signal so for now i'm gonna reset it uh, yeah just like that and then next i'm gonna add um i love to add a maximizer just to increase the volume just a little bit remember mastering is about doing subtle little little changes but at the same time they really like do a lot to your master then next i'm gonna add an imager this one right here is gonna use i'm gonna use this you use this to like enlarge your sound make your sound bigger that's the work of an imager or stereo enhancer or stereo expander they all work the same then next i'm gonna get a limiter vintage limiter this is gonna like uh limit uh some of those peaks or some of those frequencies uh that are gonna try to jump out a limiter is literally like gonna chop it off a little bit and set a ceiling and especially the kicks like the kicks try to be uh try like to jump out a little bit so a limiter tries to like control them uh, to a level where other instruments are playing from so for now i'm gonna use an equalizer maximizer imager vintage and if possible i can also use um a vintage compressor just to compress uh certain frequencies just to compress them just a little bit so for now i'm gonna turn off this turn off this turn off this turn off this and remain with an eq this one right here so the first thing just like i said is to do a high pass don't do it too much when you do it too much it sounds like this so 
So you've got to take it to a place where you feel like the body is still there. Don't take out the body. Don't cut off your song. Don't make your song sound thin. You don't want to uh, produce a thin song what you want to do is produce a song that has low end it has some mids it has some highs it has the bass it just has all the frequencies so what i love to do is now try to take it back to a place i feel like uh uh-huh i think it's okay right there then i'm gonna turn it off and on so like you guys can listen to what has happened to it So what I'm doing right now is some cleaning. I am cleaning just uh, the entire song just a little bit. This includes the vocals and the instruments. So I'm cleaning this uh, entire mix. So around 52, just a little bit around 52 is very much okay with this song. So next I'm going to go to Maximizer and just try to like turn it on and then bring this threshold down just a little bit. Then my, I'm going to set my ceiling on um, signal level on... then this threshold is gonna go down the moment i push the threshold down maximization is gonna begin limiting so here we go so i'm gonna set my threshold on two point negative 2.0 just a little bit it's not supposed to be much then next isotope equalizer and what i'm gonna do is try to play around with the frequencies try to boost the highs and try to reduce where i need to reduce and try to boost the lows just a little bit and from there we're gonna go to the imager vintage and then try to compress it just a little bit so here we go What I'm doing right now due to uh, my isotope not having multiband compressor. So I'm going to just try to like work on those frequencies using an equalizer. An equalizer is really going to help me to like shape the sound the way I want the sound to be. So I have just boosted up uh, the low just a little bit and also boosted up this frequency. And this frequency sounds like this. Just to open up that frequency a little bit, so I have given it a uh, positive 1.0 and sounds like this. Then I have also like increased the highs just a little bit to 2.0 dB, positive 2.0. Then I've also like uh, around 2000 and 30 hertz i have increased it just a little bit to like 0. let's 
say 1.0 db this is around 2000 hertz and this one is around 5000 hertz and this one is around um just a little bit this one is around 2000 hertz <laughs> This is before an EQ. And this is after. Sounds much open, right? Yeah. So next, what I'm going to do is go back to Maximizer. So whenever you like the character, you put it uh, down a little bit, the sound is going to change like you're going to have much more natural sound. But when you pull it too much, the sound tries to go back in the background a little bit. So what I love to do is just set it around uh, 2.20, the smooth area somewhere there is really going to work out the way it's supposed to work out. So let me just take it back to... I just wanted to show you negative 2.0 so the most important thing is just for you to like bring down the threshold to negative 2.0 or all the same you can still come to presets and then you can come to classic master this is just gonna work out the way it's supposed to work out so for now i'm just gonna leave it where it is then coming to uh the imager let's try to like uh make the sound the way we want the sound to be like make it large uh expand it a little bit so i'm gonna turn this on and then i'm gonna go i love going to presets so i'm gonna pick a preset which is like um enhanced space what we want is space so i'm gonna come there and turn uh uh take it out close it and then listen to this and of course don't forget to turn on the stereo uh, uh stereo eyes this is gonna like um make your sound get your sound make your sound uh feel like enlarged and at the same time expanded so i love to set mine on 12.5 right there <laughs> sounds better right sound very sounds very very nice then next i'm gonna go to um let me switch this because the f the final one has to be a limiter i'm gonna go to vintage comp just compress it just a little bit so um this is just gonna be where it's supposed to be <laughs> so i'm gonna set my ratio on two to one just a little 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 compression just a little bit and my release is not gonna be on i want like a little bit of like faster release 
and then my attack is gonna attack it not really like fast it's gonna be like medium right there so let me uh just take a listen to how it sounds like <laughs> Then I've set my threshold on negative 15.3. As you can see, just a little compression is happening right there, um, right there in the in the background. Just a little bit of compression, and that's what I love about this. Then I'm gonna take this all the way to, uh, all the way to 40 hertz, so that I don't get to like compress all this area. Just, uh, just, just this side. Then for now I don't need the the gain because I already have a vintage limiter so I'm gonna go to turn on this vintage limiter and try to like increase the volume a little bit. Remember, we want to get our volume, uh, our volume to, to this, this line right here. I love my volume to be there. Whenever the volume reaches there, I know that it's really not going to be a problem to people. Uh, nobody's going to say the volume was a little bit low. It's just going to work out. So this is a trick. I don't know. It works for me. It always works around here. So for now, let's check where it is. So I'm just gonna go to um, maximizer and try to take it back to negative uh, 1.2 because I wanna use a limiter. So I have turned my limiter to modern. So I'm gonna put it to modern sound. We want modern sound, and I'm gonna also try to like take it down a little bit so that we can uh, limitation can happen. <laughs> Then I've reduced my compression just a little bit, vintage compressor, just a little bit. Uh, I just need a little bit of compression. So uh, I've used my equalizer, maximizer, imager, vintage comp, vintage limiter just to raise up the volume. And this is just basically to like stereoize the sound. And I think I need more. So guys, as you can see, we are not even clipping, so this is the good thing uh of uh the good thing about uh adding a limiter at the end of your plugins and it is really like working out the way i want it to work out and basically guys this is the way you like um 
master using isotope plugin remember mastering is all about little little tiny uh, changes that you make most of the work should be done during recording and also during uh, mixing then mastering is just a uh, correction of final a uh, final correction and just try to get the levels where they're supposed to be so i hope this video has helped you and if this video has helped you kindly uh, leave it a like and don't forget to uh, subscribe i will see you in the next one Narrow to the